In this video, we will demonstrate how easy it is to access the power and performance of ANSYS Cloud by submitting a batch solve directly from ANSYS Fluent running on a local workstation. We launch ANSYS Fluent running locally with an airliner case file loaded. We start the ACT app and sign in to the ANSYS Cloud service. This job is ready for solution, so we will click New Job and give the job a name. Pick the closest available data center. Pick the virtual machine type you wish to use. With the most recent ANSYS Cloud release, we have several choices, including machines that have up to 120 cores per node. If we need guidance on making this choice, this help link takes us to an article on the Cloud Forum, which includes some guidelines and benchmark data. You will note that the 44 core per node HC machine is recommended, so we will choose that. We then select the number of virtual machines to use, and then the number of cores to utilize within that configuration. This gives complete flexibility to choose a configuration and core count, which will deliver the best price performance for our use case and at a scale that matches license configuration if needed. We then submit the job to the cloud. The input file is encrypted and transferred to the ANSYS cloud service. Once the job is submitted, we can monitor job progress from the desktop application or from the ANSYS Cloud portal. To monitor the job in the web portal, we select the job from the Jobs page. Compute resources are started on demand to service the job. It only takes a few minutes for resources to start up. Then the Fluent job starts, and we can monitor the application as it runs. We can view the full solver transcript live while the job runs. We can also see job timing information via the Analytics view or dig into issues using the Debug view. We can view graphical convergence plots to get a visual sense of how the solver is converging. All this information can be accessed either from the Cloud Portal or from the desktop in the Cloud app. Returning to the Status view, we see that the job is complete, compute resources have been stopped, and files have been transferred back to Cloud Storage automatically. We can now post-process. For cloud-based access to the full power of the desktop applications, the latest release of ANSYS Cloud has introduced a new in-browser option for interactive use. Just like HPC jobs, resources are started on demand. Once the session starts, it will be displayed embedded directly in your web browser. You can, of course, use the full screen option to expand the view. Now, we can work interactively with the ANSYS Fluent application running remotely on the cloud and load results that were computed from the HPC job. Now, we complete post-processing, just like we would on a local workstation. We are streaming just the graphics to our local machine. This session is running remotely on the cloud. Here, we create a contour plot of static pressure on all the walls of the aircraft and save that as an image file. Any files saved from the cloud-based interactive session are transferred back to cloud storage when the session ends. Finally, if desired, we can download any post-processing results to our local workstation. Cloud-based HPC can drastically reduce time to solution with no power or throughput limitations. With new HPC clusters and the ability to run cloud-based software interactively from within your web browser, ANSYS Cloud is delivering more power, performance, and flexibility while still making HPC as easy as it should be.